Yeah, so what I want to do is run through the entire data update workflow uh, as Pete described it. So uh, I'm going to start with some data. We're going to create a form template from the, the shapefile schema that we've imported. We'll create a task out of it. We'll send it to the field, do some updates, and then come back and see what it looks like in the office. Uh, you should get a pretty good feel of how the application works. The first step, obviously, is getting that data into the system. So I've already got this trees layer, all these yellow dots. What I'm going to do is send a bunch of park data out to us and field users for the purposes of updating. But I needed to get that data into the system first. And we do that through this standalone application called the, uh, the InSphere Data Uploader. And uh, what that'll do is you just point it out a directory, and it'll find all the supported file types, grab them, and then upload them. That keeps you from having to have your browser window up and it works in the background and, and pushes it all up in case you have lots of data. But that InSphere data uploader is the method to get data into InSphere. So I've already done that in this case, uh, and I've loaded this, uh, uh, among others, that I've already, I've already processed uh, this trees layer, which we'll go through now. What we want to do is create the form template so that uh, we can use it in the field and then we can format and view that data in a, in a bit more friendly of a fashion here. So I'm just going to highlight that layer and then hit the Create Template button. What this will do is it will drop me into uh, an editor where I can match up the schema of the shapefile with the form template for Teraflex. And it goes through and it makes its best guess about the data types that you might find. So it found uh, a couple of items in a unique list here so it, for species, so it, uh, it automatically picked choice. But of course we can change some of these things if we wanted to. I found that the uh, the height field was actually a numeric value. Age class doesn't have a space in it, so we can add it there. Uh, there's a, we need an N in description, and a CION in recommendation. So you get the point that we can kind of clean things up right away by matching the shapefile schema with the schema for uh, for the form template so that uh, it can be used by the field editor. Once we're, once we're kind of happy with the data types and, and all that stuff, we can to drill down a little bit more and, and actually create the template and we can start working with the template in, this, in that standard way um, available in the Terraflex. So if we open it up to species and it found three items because those are the only three items in the shape file, but if there's another one we can add another choice. Uh, so this there's the fourth one called the pine tree. Um, there is uh, a couple of conditions, good, fair, poor, maybe there's a fourth one. Whatever, whatever your uh, um, your requirements are, uh, you can do that. Uh, you can make those changes. We can add things like uh, pages. So uh, I just want to show you this. So here's uh, the first page will be an info page, and then the second page will be a um, the actual page that uh, that deals with the the details of the inspection. So this is just info about the tree, and this is stuff uh, that we care about uh, at at at, that, at the time of inspection. We can set a couple of um, uh, things in that preview window so we get a, a quick, at a glance, what type of tree it is, how high it is, so that when we tap on it on the map, it's easy, it's easy for us to identify what type, of, uh, what type of tree it is. I'm going to leave it yellow just so I can turn on the background, and uh, you can see the yellow up against the green, uh, the green trees, but you can set any color that you want to. If you want to create behaviors or, or um, uh, form template uh, uh, conditions based on the, the data update component. So when you, when you actually are updating a feature, let's say maybe you don't want the user to, uh, to be able to change the species. Uh, it's already been done. So when we, we're in this data update view, uh, we can lock the, uh, the schema so that it becomes read-only when you're doing data updates. But if you're collecting new data, that, form will, that, uh, uh, that attribute will be available to, uh, to enter the first time. So uh, kind of a nifty, uh, a nifty way to, uh, to control the experience and make sure that people aren't changing things that, uh, that they shouldn't be uh, when they're in the field. So once you're happy with the, um, with the, with the form template, all we need to do is, uh, is tap the Publish button. And what this will do is it will convert this layer into uh, a layer that's usable by Terraflex so that we can come over to uh, this view, and I'll put the satellite background underneath there and as soon as the as soon as all the features load onto the map we can use any number of these selection tools uh, uh, freeform polygons or just a simple rectangle to select any number of these features so I can select a, a subset or if I want to I just can grab the whole the whole part 
And it'll go through and select all of the features. Um, it'll give me a quick summary of them. I can flip through them if I want to. But at this point, once I've made the selection of features, uh, all I need to do is click on this Create Task button. When I create tasks, what it's going to do is package all of that, all of those features up into uh, uh, a package that I can send down to the to the field uh, the field devices, and we'll call this uh, Maryland's Park. And maybe there's a task note like um, gate code is one two three four five six. Um, so whatever information might be useful to the field user, uh, you can add those in the in the notes part there as well. And you see it grabbed all the layers, so we don't have to just select one layer. We can select any number of layers uh, and then create the task. Immediately, any user that's assigned to this project is, uh, is given access to this, um, uh, to this data that we've created as part of this task. So what I'm going to do now is jump over to the field device so you can see all this uh, coming in live. And you can see it's already synchronizing uh, already. And before we even had a chance to, uh, uh, to do anything, uh, we're indicated that a new task has arrived. We've got a new project, the project has been updated, the, the trees layer has been added, and a new task has arrived. If I tap on task, it'll give me a list of all the tasks that I have available to me. We've just got the one that we just created, it has a little note uh, that we've got. And if we tap on the, um, the task in the task list, it opens it up and we're now in that task mode. So we can view either in a list or on a map all of the features that are included in this, uh, in this data collection or this data update task. So I'll click and just jump into the, uh, into the map view. And I'm going to change the map type to satellite. So a bit more contrast and interesting to look at. So there's all the features that we, uh, that we collected or that we uh, created in that, as part of that task. And tapping on any of those features gives us that uh, that little preview window uh, that we can use to, uh, to to quickly see what it is. And if I want to update this particular tree, it's the, the common alder that's uh, nine nine feet high. I can just tap on that, and then I'm brought into the the data collection form. And because I'm, I've already updated it, I specified that I couldn't I would not allow the field user to change the species. So that field is not available to change, but I can edit anything else. And at the very top, I've got uh, the Info tab and then the Inspection tab. And if I just simply swipe to the right, I get all of the, uh, the attributes that, are, uh, that, I, that I said were part of the inspection. And I can update the conditions from fair to good and my recommendation from trim to monitor. I can save that, uh, that, that feature just by check pressing the, uh, the check mark. And if I wanted to see just my just how, how far along I'm going, it's not going to not going to make much of a difference in the in the graphic representation. But you can see here that it says one of 191 forms has been updated. And if I look at the list view of all this stuff, I can uh, get an idea in a in a in a tabular sort of way of uh, of all the features that I do have to update. And I can filter these things by by status. I can make sure that uh, that I'm only seeing uh, let's see. I only want to see gate features. But if I do that, then it's a list limited so you can find what it is you're looking for. I can sort it by um, by things like, uh, like say, distance. So it's the closest one to the top of the list so I can find it. And of course, right from here, I can open this gate and change the uh, inspection date. And I can say, yep, this, in fact, this gate is actually locked. And again, save that location, uh, save that form. Now, you're not just limited to, to performing data updates. In fact, if you come across something that wasn't in there, let's say a, a, a dog food station, um, we can collect a new feature um, by tapping one of those tiles on the, on the home screen and entering the information about it. Save that feature. And now, because I'm connected, everything that I've done, the, the, the updates to those two features and the new feature that I collected, uh, are, are, have already been sent back to the office. But of course, if you're working in an offline, uh, if you're working in the field and you don't have an internet connection available, uh, everything that you do is, is saved and, and, and cached until you return to a, uh, an online state where 
uh, all the work that you've done during the day is then sent back. So you do have to be in online to get all the data, but then after that you can work uh, completely disconnected until uh, um, until you can return to the office. So now what we'll do is flip back to the uh, to the web, get an idea of what's uh, what's actually come in. So if I flip over to the uh, the form tab, it will load the uh, the information that's come in from the field. So what you're seeing here is not a list of all features, it's just a list of features that have, have come in as part of the, uh, um, the, the the field work that's being done. And if we click on one, we get it. We get the updated information along with all the uh, all the changes that were made to the uh, uh, to the to the data. Uh, there's the wooden gate and then the dog station uh, that I I wasn't able to flat cap the geometry I'm sitting inside here. Um, but uh, uh, as quickly as you were able to send that data out into the field and update it, it's now available for you to uh, uh, to create an export from. Uh, so it, it, it's very simple for you to get uh, get stuff uh, from that shape file out into the field and then back to uh, the system of records where you can uh, make your, your changes.